Hello? C can I bother you for a second? Um, okay, I was kidding. Just go, who cares? Hello guys, welcome back. It's been a long time from the last devlog here. Uh, yeah, I know, but I wasn't literally dead in this period, so I still did something, and let's see it. As you may know, some time ago I made a video showing a wind turbine with a useless monitor. Well, I finally decided to make it work. So I adapted the model. Since these turbines use the wind power to convert it into energy, I made a hole where to place an energy cell. And this is the complete model with the monitor UI giving information about the power generation, the current energy, etc. Now I just need for a sort of battery, uh, like this one, as always modeled with Blender. And if I pick it up, then it, you can see that it tells me to place it and the monitor then will show me what's happening. Well, of course the charging of the energy cell is depending on the wind intensity, since it's a wind turbine. If the wind is like this, it's going to be relatively slow, but if it is like this, then something went wrong, you were probably inside the tornado and you're gonna die. I'm kidding, it's never gonna be that strong. Same principle for all power generators like the solar panels and the future ones like... Um, uh, wait, I'm not gonna say anything about this right now, I don't want to spoil it, so just wait a little bit. Alright, so this was the main way to charge an energy cell and uh, let's wait it to, to be charged. Um, let's move on the other side, but before I get through this, I want you to stop the video and write in the comments what these things look like. These are smelters. They got the chamber where the stuff burns, a monitor to interact with, and some useless pipes. If I click on the monitor with the left mouse button, then the UI will pop up next to my inventory, so I can drag and drop stuff from it. Of course, there is a list of recipes and whenever you place materials, basically it checks if they are smeltable and if they are part of a recipe. Um, th does that make sense? Let's see an example. Um, this recipe gives me one glass by smelting two quarts powder in 30 seconds and with 10% of energy. And if I place them, uh, it will recognize the recipe and show the smelting button. And if I click on it, um, it does nothing. Why it's not working? Oh, I forgot the energy cell. And there we go, it starts melting and you can see it from this progress bar uh, as well as from this particle effect. And you can also see that the energy cell has 10% less energy than before. Uh, I actually stole this particle effect from a campfire, you can see it pretty much the same. So yeah, this is just a placeholder. And when it's done, I get my glass, ready to be used. One more thing, this smelter has its own inner state, so you can play stuff, move on, come back later, and you will find your things. Uh, um, I got some extra time and I want to do something uh, dumb, well, I'm used to it, but anyway. So I made a little army of flints, and I have to say, that was funny. Um, I, I really had fun doing this, um, don't laugh at me, please. Uh, but so yeah, this is the footage of it. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed doing it. So yeah, I see you guys next time.